Hello, Professor Burns, Bio 104 class. Cameron Greg here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Canada Mayflower, Myanthemum canadense, uh, order Asparagales, family Asparagacea, which includes agave and allies. This is the plant in question. It's everywhere in the undergrowth here. Uh, it has can either have this one single leaf or two with the flower. It could have three as well. So it's also called the Canadian Maylily, uh, the False Lily of the Valley, and Two Leaf Solomon Seal, among uh, a bunch of other names, depending on where you're from. Uh, it's native to subboreal conifer forest in Canada and northern United States. Uh, picture the range if I can manage it's up here. Um, it's an understory perennial. As you can see, it's very prevalent in the understory here. Uh, there's a lot of it, and I've I've seen it many, many times before. I'm sure you have too, but I've never actually known what it's called. So it's at home both uh, under deciduous or evergreen trees. Right now, it's only under deciduous trees. Uh, as far as I can tell, looks like there's a cedar over in the side, but it's mainly under uh, deciduous trees right now. There's a big oak tree behind me, uh, and there's a single leaf here, which is a sterile plant sterile version of this plant and there's a two or three leaf version which has a flower as you can see here so as far as the community relationships and ecosystem connections that this uh, the Canada Mayflower has in this area uh, it forms dense carpet colonies of plants so as you can see around me there's a large number of these plants everywhere and they're actually all connected uh, they, they shoot out little rhizomes, that's how they spread, or uh, that's one of the reasons, one of the ways that they spread. Um, and they, they, they connect, all their little roots connect and form a giant colony, so they're all connected by roots, by these rhizomes. They're a very shallow plant, they don't go down very far, their roots don't go deep at all, they stay very close to the surface uh, and just spread out as opposed to down. Um, birds and chipmunks and mice like to eat the berries uh, and especially birds or especially with the birds that helps uh, extend the range and uh, in introduce new um, colonies to areas um, by the birds eating them and then uh, in their excrement the seeds remain and grow on their own uh, and as far as uh, human connection there's unspecified medicinal usage. Uh, it's like folklore and Native American usages for the plant. Um, and the berries have been eaten as fruit before, but they're probably not very filling. Uh, they're really small. This is just a flower there on this one, um, but they do grow into a, a sizable berry, but it kind of be like eating one blueberry at a time. So it's not much in the way of food, but yeah. Anyways, that's the Canada Mayflower.